Hello everyone, welcome to the nation and today I'm actually in Indianapolis and uh, we're here because, well, um, I went to a Bon Jovi concert, if you can see my shirt, there we go, went to a Bon Jovi concert, that was pretty freaking amazing and uh, also my brother has some appointments up here in Indy and he also has some in Chicago which is where we're going today and actually tomorrow and um, I want to kind of record there because Ch Chicago is pretty cool I mean I've been there a bunch but like it's it's a big city com like one of the biggest in um, the United States so I kind of wanted to record there we might be going to like uh, some of the places to see around there uh, the Willis Tower formerly Sears Tower uh, I don't know if we'll go to the Skygate Bean or whatever, or Navy Pier. I don't know what we'll do, um, but I do know that we will be doing the tower, and we will, we will definitely be in Chicago for sure. And um, so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that, and I'll see you there. <laughs> Pretty much, we're here at the uh, like medical place or whatever in Chicago um, for my brother, and then we're gonna be doing stuff later, bro. Right? Yes. Little fish tank. Yes. It's pretty cool. Yes. He's into it. He's into it. Oh look, it's Dory. I found. I found Dory. I found Dory. <laughs> So we're now on the, our way to the Willis Tower. It's actually right up there. It's hard to see. Don't know how well you can see that. I guess, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. And we're going to be going up inside it, and it's going to be pretty cool. So, yee. All right, guys, here we are in line. Just wait to go up. It's going to be exciting. All right, so here's a little exhibit showing the height compared to a lot of other things. That is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Are some of the tallest buildings, monuments, and structures in the world. You're riding up this 1450 foot modern marvel in one of the tower's 104 elevator cars. Your trip to the sky deck will only take about a minute. That means your elevator is traveling at a speed of more than 24 feet per second. The tower opened its doors in 1973 and held the title of the world's tallest building for 25 years. The west antenna reaches 1730 feet above the Chicago streets. We're now passing 850 feet in San Francisco's Transamerica Pyramid, 970 feet in the Yokohama Landmark Tower, Japan's tallest building, 1,062 feet in Paris's stunning Eiffel Tower, the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, 1,250 feet in the Empire State Building in New York. And now we're here, 103 stories up. Okay, so here's the view from the normal, like, window. You can see pretty much everything, like, for, I think they said 50 miles. Over there, you can see Indiana. Like, here's the Illinois edge, and over there is Indiana. You can even see that. And uh, this is one of the edges of it. Okay, so you can see a lot out this way. You got a big view over here. There's a planetarium over there. Obviously, that's, like, Michigan and uh, the park, William Park down there. I don't know if you can see the uh, cloud gate being or not. Here you can see over that way into like residential area or whatever. All the way out there. And then over here you got the John Hancock building and Trump Tower. Those are the other two like biggest here in Chicago. Let's see a little bit. And uh, yeah, those are pretty cool to see from here. And then there's the little sky deck thing and there's one more spot to look out of. Okay, so here we go. Wow. Out onto this ledge. Wow. It's cool. Look at that. I'm not oh. stepping out there. Just turn <laughs> you get closer here. There we go. Okay, so, 
You can see like straight down. Huh? There's the building right there. Here's like the this? people over there. Here, hold on. I gotta save this. No, we're done. We're we All right. There you go. That's that. All right. So, pretty much done up here. Like Michigan. That's kind of a cool tower. I don't really know what that is. There's stuff below me. Obviously, the street and other buildings. Um, over there, John Hancock Building and Trump Tower. Shed Aquarium is over here. There's a planetarium out there, I'm pretty sure. And all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad I got to come up here and do all that, so. Yee! So we were just eating in this amazing uh, Spanish restaurant. Like This is like absolutely amazing. We'll talk about that in a second. Out there came like a bunch of like new there's a news reporter like with a camera and stuff right and a bunch yeah. of people standing out there and we went to look at what it was yeah. and it's, there was an owl sitting out there well i can go i can go get it like take a picture or video of it there's, there's an owl sitting out there so right there you can see that there's a little owl sitting out in the out on this little thing in the middle of chicago in the middle of chicago street See, there's a little owl sitting out there, and there are actually news reporters right there. Guys, like I said, we are out here on the streets of Chicago, and there's the owl, and the news channel recording the owl sitting there. This is kind of amazing. It's a real small owl, too. It's not very big at all. There's a really good picture of him. But, uh, yeah, so we're out here. And a lot of people were around. This guy in the orange was originally pointing at him and calling people about him, I think. Now I got the uh, the news channel out here recording it. I think it's NBC. And uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. An owl in the middle of Chicago, and he's not leaving. He's just kind of just kind of chilling, hanging out. Pretty cool. See, so she she just caught the owl, and. Uh, so they're like interviewing her, the owl's in the little thing in there. I think she's gonna help it out. So there. She caught the owl and everything's gonna be okay. The owl's alright and everything. So that's good. Alright guys, we're right here in the hotel. And uh, it's later at night. We actually uh, just went up and watched a movie after eating because like that was really good food and I don't know how to top that for tonight or whatever but uh, we're going down to the lobby to look at like I don't know bagels and something or other and maybe walk somewhere I don't even know but like yeah they got the, like this Einstein Brothers bagels and that's where we're gonna go because I'm not sure what else to video while we're here <laughs> so yeah so apparently this is only breakfast, it's only open till 2, it's like, I don't know, maybe 9? I guess we're gonna go outside now, okay. Sliding door, woo! Alright, so now we're walking down the street, that's loud. We're walking down the street, kind of. And since we've been out here, it's rained a bunch. It's rained and it's kind of storming. But it's not really raining right now, and uh, we're gonna be going to like a Whole Food, that Whole Foods market over there. I think we're also gonna be going to a sub place because you know midnight snacks. So we'll see what we're doing here. All right, guys. So we just went to uh, Jersey Mike's, and um, yeah, there's in there is my sub and my chips, and here's my drink. And um, I feel kind of bad because normally I get Jimmy John's, and that's like my favorite ever. But now I've gotten Jersey Mike's because actually I've never heard of it before and I've never tried it before, so I'm gonna try it. Hopefully it's not better than Jimmy John's because I have no way ever to get it unless I come to Chicago because I don't know where else they would be. Google, find that other location. Yeah. But I, I've always liked Jimmy John's really well. And it's funny because Subway, Jimmy John's, and Jersey Mike's are right next to each other and they're all sub places, so that was really interesting. Here's where we ate earlier. At Emilio's tapas or whatever yeah it was honestly it was like really good one of the best restaurants I've ever had in my life and so now we're going over to Whole Food Market whatever 
and we'll see what goes on there. Now we're in the Whole Food Market and uh, we're going to be looking around and stuff. Alright, so we're here in the market and I actually got a uh, plan and started to get ready for a new video on my other channel with my friend Brandon. And uh, if you can't tell by what those are, those are water bottles. So we're probably going to be doing a water taste test comparing like the high-end waters and maybe a low-end water as well. And we're going to see if they're all that they're cracked up to be. So. Yeah. All right, guys. So we went for a little bit of a longer walk um, in Chicago at night, and it's pretty freaking cool looking. Let me just turn this around here real quick. Here are all the buildings along this way. I think it's Michigan Avenue. There's a Trump Tower right there. That's it. Look, the building looks pretty cool right now. Uh, you got the water right there. So all these buildings look pretty nice. I'm not sure what that one is, but it looks cool too. Um, I think this is an NBC building, if I'm not mistaken. And we come all the way back around. There's a hotel. And all these buildings are pretty freaking cool. And they look really nice at night, all lit up and stuff. It's a really great view from here. So I'm about to dive into this and try it. See if it tastes any good. So we got some turkey, provolone, lettuce, bacon, and onion goodness, and we're gonna see if this is good. Wow. They're pretty good. Better not to Jimmy. It's up there with Jimmy John's, yeah. This is not a feed review channel, but that's pretty good. Jersey Mike's. If you know what that is, or if you live by one, or you've seen one before, definitely, definitely try it. I think it's very good. Um, it, it definitely compares to Jimmy John's for me. Better than others I've had, like Subway and Penn Station, so. Pretty good. I rate it a 9 out of 10. It's a good rating. And now we're leaving uh, Chicago. Uh, I don't know if you can see back there the city. Probably not yet. We're not that far away. But we're finally leaving. And uh, this is actually the next day from what I recorded at nighttime. I think that's the last clip that was seen. But, uh, yeah back there is the city and I'll probably get like it like going away like the cityscape or whatever so thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe and join the nation if you haven't already I'll see you guys in the next video